Hi everyone. This video is about idealizing and idolizing by people that have personality disorders like borderlines and narcissists. What is it? What's the difference? I'm going to dive into this because I hope that it helps you understand behaviors of toxic people. Because we can't have relationships like this with them anymore, right? Never. It's not about making them work. It's about staying away from toxic people, isn't it? Identifying behaviors, red flags. And how we respond to this is very important. I used to respond one way to stuff like this. Now I respond very differently. And it's based on not what I've learned, but who I am. My self-worth. My own self-reliance. My own self-love. Okay. So, one thing I want to be very clear on is the more that we obsess and idealize and idolize, the less we feel good about our own lives. All right? Whether it's obsession and I have nothing else going on in my life or I'm idolizing somebody that, that makes me feel like I could never do that, never achieve that. Or I idealize something or someone or a relationship. It's, I'm not happy with my own life. I have no self-reliance. I can't take care of myself. I can't make myself feel better. I can't achieve that. I can't have success in these areas. I have no life. Okay. So the narcissist and borderline each have a diagnostic trait about this. It's in the DSM-5. For narcissistic personality disorder, I think it's the first, first uh, diagnostic trait they listed. Preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love. For the borderline, a pattern of, un by the way, they call it now emotionally unstable personality disorder, a pattern of unstable and intense interpersonal relationships characterized by alternating between extremes of idealization and devaluation. What's the difference, huh? For the narcissist, it's about grandiosity, fantasizing, fantasy. But for the borderline, it's about splitting. Whether they idealize you or devalue you. You're good, you're bad. You can help me, you could hurt me. The narcissist fantasizes about relationships. How grand they could be. How much this could raise my status. Or how much I'll be treated like the king that I am. That someone will finally recognize how amazing, or important, unique, and special I am. Emotional support. Sex, fun, right? Adoration. The narcissist wants to be excessively adored and status, like I said that. The borderline wants you to make them feel well and carry them through life. Might not seem like much, but what if you can't do that? What if you can't make yourself feel okay, feel well, or live, right, or function in daily life? The narcissists idealize love, have an ideal love. The borderline idealizes people. The narcissist and borderline both place value on people. That, these are, that's exploitative. I place a value on a human being. I've heard you guys, many of you guys say this. We don't do that. We don't say someone's valuable to me, right? I value the relationship I have with somebody I love very much. Not the person. But the borderline will idolize someone. And maybe that didn't happen to you with someone that was borderline. But they tend to do that. Narcissist is too grandiose overcompensating for low self-worth and low self-esteem. So they always have to be better than you, though. Okay? And the borderline places you on a pedestal above them, idolizing you. Idealize means give value to, valuable. I think we've all been guilty of idealizing to some degree. I've used this analogy before, or reference. When you meet someone you really like in your life, think back. 
and you go and tell someone close to you, your best friend, how amazing they are. They are perfect. They are perfect for me. They're exactly what I want. They're like, you know, make me complete my other half, my soulmate. Yeah. We, we don't know this person that we just met yet. It takes a long time. We are telling our best friend what kind of person is perfect for us, what we idealize, the ideal person. Now, idolize is to adore excessively. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, the borderline wants to excessively adore you and the narcissist wants to be excessively adored by you. <laughs> I mean, it's just a perfect match, right? Idolize, to revere immoderately, to make an idol of, to worship. Might sound extreme. How many of you have been worshipped? Or they've even told you that. I've heard people say it, and I've been told it. I worship you. I worship the ground you walk on. No, don't. No, no, no. Like, could you have slaves all on the ground bending to you? Be, no, no, no. Get up. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Narcissist is like, get down. Get down. Idolize me. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I've been told it. Yeah. Love to excess. Love unquestionably. Love uncritically. We idolize things like gold and children. Or heroes. A hero. Huh? Yeah. You ever been someone's hero? May have dated a borderline. You ever dated a hero? <laughs> they might have been narcissists. Uh, narcissists won't necessarily idolize you. Right? Put you up there. Can't do that. But borderlines will. Borderline, you're the hero. But to a narcissist, they're the hero. Right? Isn't that how it works? <laughs> narcissists love bomb which is fake. They're trying to gain your trust, get you hooked, get you attached, get you to love them. They're showing you how they want to be treated. They have an idealized relationship and here's how it looks, okay? You see that? But the borderline idealizes relationships and idolizes you. Problems. First, these are forms of dehumanization called objectification. People that exploit you are objectifying you. People that put you on a pedestal are objectifying you. Narcissists and borderlines both, play, both place value on you for what you do. Narcissists, what you look like. The borderline places you on a pedestal like a parent. Mom and dad are up here above me. Borderlines will parentify you, your daddy, your mommy. Might even call you that. Seen it. It's pretty gross. But what this does is makes us not equal. We talk about reciprocation in a relationship, but God, what if we aren't even equal? Yeah? And in the beginning, you might feel like you are with a narcissist. Might even feel really good, but the... Pushing, putting you on a pedestal, is that okay with you? Aren't we equal? Don't let someone do that to you if you believe we're all equal. But but not being equal causes feelings of inadequacy. That's why the narcissist won't do that. Or start to do that and quickly throw you down. Punch. But these, cause, these feelings of inadequacy will... Make fears surface. Fears of inadequacy. Fears of intimacy. Fear of abandonment. Huh? Yeah? What they're ruled by. Borderlines. Inadequacy. Narcissists. Low self-esteem. I hope I explained the differences and kind of what's going on when people like this do things like this to you. 
not the way you want to start a relationship if you want it long term. If you want to emotionally connect with people, if you value that, don't let people make you feel or determine that you're not equal to them, whether you're above them or below them. Uh -uh. Both are just as bad. Okay. But I hope this helps you understand. Ask me questions, but more importantly, share your own examples. Please, please, please. If you feel comfortable doing that, it's safe here. Share your examples of being idealized, idolized, devalued, obsessed. Okay? And always ask me questions. Okay, guys? Thank you. Love yourself first. Bye-bye.